G'day guys, Mike from Cornerstone here. Hope you're having a great day. Look, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about fitting in and belonging. Uh, I was fortunate enough to listen to a presentation from a lady called Brené Brown. Um, some of you might be super familiar with her work. Um, if not, Google it, give her a listen. Uh, she's absolutely fantastic. So I um, had a listen to a presentation that she delivered last night and she talked a little bit about um, belonging and fitting in. And it's something that really resonated with me quite a lot. Um, as a society, I feel like most of the time we're trying to fit in. We're, we're not really being ourselves and we're sort of trying to fit in rather than belonging. And, and that's for a bunch of reasons and I'm not a psychologist and so I'm not going to go into deep detail with it. But a, lot, a bunch of the words that she sort of spoke about and, and some words that resonate with me and that, that I thought about in terms of fitting in and belonging you know, she talks a lot about shame and vulnerability, like her, her research is around shame and vulnerability. And, and the two are really sort of like at, at opposite ends of the spectrum. And shame really comes, comes under fitting in. Um, we're sort of, we have this shame about who we are and, and which we try and fit ourselves into this little box, um, which we think uh, other people will like or the society um, wants us to be. And, and that's just not the case. Um, when we when we belong we're actually really vulnerable and and to belong you need to be vulnerable and um, that was kind of the crux of her message and it was it really hit home for me and, and I look back on, on all the different situations in my life and I really feel like um, lack of vulnerability really led to me trying to do more of fitting in and less and less belonging as, as close as I felt in a lot of different situations I definitely felt like I was trying to fit in as, as opposed to belonging. And, and, and in all honesty, I feel like that's the case with a lot of people. Um, some other, other things which she touched on were conformity versus courage. Um, so, you know, conforming to what other people want or other people think or and not forming your own beliefs. You always want to listen, but always be skeptical. Um, forming your own beliefs about what is true, what is true for you. Um, and having the courage, having the courage to be vulnerable. Vulnerability and courage go hand in hand, and it was really powerful for me to, to for, for her to say, um, you know, there's no courage without vulnerability. Show me, show me someone who has been courageous without showing vulnerability. And I think that was a really important message to hear. Um, some of the other things that we talked about, um, external versus internal. These are all external factors trying to fit in. All these materialistic things trying to fit in as opposed to being, being true to yourself and, and, and going internal and being, being, um, being vulnerable internal and, and, and that self-love type thing. Um, perception and virtual reality. So like what you perceive and, and you, everyone creates a story, their own virtual reality of what uh, their life is or what a certain situation is or what a certain thing is. It's based on our own perceptions and our beliefs from when we're brought up, from when we're a baby. And, and that's not necessarily the truth. Um, so yeah, we create this, we have this perception, this virtual reality, and it's, it's not actually the truth. You, we can both sit here and, and you can listen to this video and someone else can listen to this video and, the, and their truth can be totally different about how I'm saying something or, or what color this shirt is. Like our truth is different, um, but truth in self is, is incredibly important. And, and what's true to you. Um, and as I said, always sort of listening to those external, fa external um, voices, but um, staying true to you is, is a big part of, of how to belong. Um, discomfort versus comfort. Um, now I've spoke a lot about discomfort and comfort before and, and the need to be uncomfortable, um, but there's a different sort of comfortable. So there's a discomfort, there's a discomfort in sort of not being yourself and then there's a discomfort in maybe pushing the boundaries of who you are and growing as a person, as opposed to discomfort about just sort of, you're not comfortable with who you are and you're kind of fighting against the people that you're around or the environment that you're in. So yeah, the two opposite ends of the spectrum and, and belonging is really sort of being comfortable with who you are and, and what you're doing and putting things out there. And, and it's like this video, like I'm, I feel a lot more comfortable putting this sort of stuff out there than maybe I did last year or the year before or, or 10 years ago or 15, 20 years ago. Um, I definitely wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been having this conversation with, with a bunch of, bunch of my mates, that's for sure. So um, it's pushed the boundaries of my discomfort. So sitting here is 
is definitely uncomfortable a little bit for me, but um, stepping into that discomfort and, and growing as a person is, is different to just being uncomfortable who you are. Um, fear and, and, and living in your head is different to coming from a place of love, of heart, of worthiness. And um, that was a big thing that she touched on was, was that fear of, fear of other people, what other people think versus you know, thinking from the heart and feeling from the heart and, 